Okay, here's another stinker I'm going to take apart. Try to do it a little faster. Three screws in the fuselage. Um, probably I should pre loosen these, that would make it a little faster. Um, normally I would take the prop off, but again, there's issues with this prop coming off. I'll have to take the engine out to get hold of the crank flange to undo the screw. Um, again, so uh, I'm kind of doing this backwards to my normal, normal way of doing it. Uh, pop, again, I, normally I'd pop the struts loose. This only has one strut remaining. It's already popped loose. Um, let's see, get the screws out. There's one hiding under the tail, it's very short. You're gonna have to use some methodology to keep track of all these little parts. They're tiny screws. Um, okay, whoa, three screws out. Um, pop the tail loose by flexing. There we go. Okay. Screws out. Pull it apart. Canopy comes off. Top wing comes out. Struts. Engine pops out. Um, there's not much difference between the landing gears. The old stinkers have the a wire landing gear sandwiched between uh, the firewall and the modern stinker, the modern pits has the plastic landing gear, but it's just four screws to take the engine off. It's pretty simple. Um, okay, so this has the remains of a strut in the bottom here that's been glued. It makes it hard to get this fuselage off, so we'll deal with that later. Um, the bell cranks just pop out. As you see, this one's properly assembled with the so that way when it's properly assembled in the the Z bend is at the bell crank um, you know you can just pull them out be careful I have broken the bell crank trying to pull the wire out on some so you have to be careful but this one came out pretty easy um, again the elevator comes out uh, this tab on the bottom goes towards the elevator horn down so for that free assembly and then to get these elevators out, especially flip them upside down, slide it through, and you're gonna to wanna to have to guide this little uh, hinge point through that hole, and there, you're done. That's it.